Hey guys, gone with another 30 days of WrestleMania here. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. You can also follow at Mayhem Show on Twitter, WrestlingMayhemShow.com for Facebook, Google Plus, all the places. And today we're talking about, of course, WrestleMania 4. It's the big one. It's, uh, well, it's not the big one, but it's one of the big ones. It's definitely in my era of watching wrestling. This is the one uh, headlined of, of a sort by a giant tournament for the first time ever vacant World Heavyweight Championship for WWF, including Macho Man's coming of age, winning the tournament. Um, and it, this is this is a wrestling fans show. Um, if you enjoy a lot of the best of the best in this, I mean, it was Macho Man and Ted DiBiase headlined a WrestleMania. I mean, I almost think that becomes forgettable for a lot of people because of the circumstance. But think about that: Million Dollar Man did headline a WrestleMania, and and I and. I don't want to call it forgettable, but I think it's just one of those things that just doesn't come to mind. Um, you know, we got the first uh, kind of the first kind of looks of maybe a uh, Bret Hart face turn uh, uh, shortly after this from when I was reading uh, with his encounter with Bad News. Bad News Brown, I almost call him something else. Uh, that's a little more recent. Um, you know, in the uh, Battle Royal to start things off. You know, we still we had a 14 man tournament. I can't, is there a ring, when's the last King of the Ring that maybe had 14 men? I don't think it even had that. Even when they had, like, quali not even qualifiers, but e even, like, first couple rounds going into the pay-per-view already accomplished. Um, other than that, you know, this is this is kind of a who's who uh, when you look at, you know, the people in this tournament as far as Hall of Famers or people you look into. Uh, uh, Rick, Ricky Steamboat is part of this. Greg the Hammer Valentine is a part of this. Um, yeah, Beefcake versus Honky Tonk Man is a part of this. Uh, even Ultimate Warrior Hercules is another side match that happened. Um, we got to a draw Jake the Snake Roberts against uh, Ravishing Rick Rude. And, you know, another classic encounter there. Uh one man gang, it just just a collection of people in this. Like you don't think about it, and I actually don't. It feels like they're not even picturing on the uh, WWE.com website um, half of the people that were even in this tournament. Uh, but again, you know, just a good wrestling. How do you put a tournament together? I think is the definitive way that you do an entire show around this. Clocks in at about three and a half hours uh, on the WWE Network edition of it. Um, really fascinating. It looks like they. Um, there's weird cutaways, and I noticed this a little bit with the other ones. I wonder if there were ads, because it, it's odd because watching this, and I've watched some of the first uh, sur couple Survivor Series shows, and there are ads in there actually for boxing matches that were happening. I think there was a little bit of affiliation going on, because they were doing a lot of stuff there at Trump Plaza for a couple years, and of course there's a lot of boxing, so I think they were trying to do some cross promotion in some in some fashion. Uh, and there was even a boxer that was pointed out here. Celebrities are in full effect, ah, completely full effect. Uh, Robin Leach, well, he, again, you youngins, not gonna know the Robin Leach, but Robin Leach, lifestyles of the rich and famous, ladies and gentlemen. He reads a proclamation at the beginning of the show about the tournament and what the tournament is for, and then presents the belt before the main event finals of the tournament on a pillow. Uh, it was it was amazing. Bob Uecker, a part of this as well, in his uh, his quest to there's enough storyline going into the celebrities going into this as there are the wrestlers. It seems Bob Uecker looking for Vanna White of uh, Wheel of Fortune fame. Um, this is why a guy like Bob Uecker has a Hall of Fame ring in the celebrity wing. I, I think he does. I have to double check on that now. Um, but he should if he doesn't. Holy crap! Because uh, he was a part of it, like a part of it, and he was he was a pretty a decent sized name and contributed to it, you know, um, it, it just, you know, worthwhile, you know, for him to be part of that. Um, and, uh, and, and really enjoyable. And, and I think it adds to it, you know, as that's a little, and he is, I double checked, Bobby Uecker is right there, right next to Bobby Heenan in the hall of fame, um, as he deserves to be. So, um, so have fun WrestleMania four. Uh, like I said, this is kind of my prime of watching wrestling and I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this trip so far. So let me know what you think of WrestleMania four, uh, the big tournament, the coming of age of, of macho man, Randy Savage as the, as the top guy in the company for a little bit in 1988. 1988. So uh, looking forward to the next episode where the mega powers explode. Of course, check out everything out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, at Mayhem Show on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube. See you next time.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.